start of week three here on the job site in Golden, Colorado. Uh, well, we got the footer built on Saturday. They put the second layer of the footing on here. Now we got to bring in all the wood and supplies. Like, you know, construction, a lot of it's moving product around. We've been making these frames for the windows and doors down at the bottom, and now we got to bring them up and put them on that footer. And we're getting to where we're going to put the vegas or the beams across the top of that. So we're getting prepared. This is kind of an early version before the footer or the header boards up there. And there's the boards up all the way across. Still had quite a bit of work to do on the concrete or just this far end of the wall. Um, still building tire walls. Always got to put on more tires, it seems. There's more rows going to be on the front, too. Uh, when we get the for the greenhouse, there's a whole nother row of walls. It's about a 90 foot long wall, and then we got the crane in to drop the Vegas in. So it's a pretty exciting day. We didn't have to work very much either while they were doing this. They wanted us to stay out of the way and not not get hit by one of these 1,000 pound beams. Most of the people working here are the regular employees, but we do have a couple students working around the beams here too. Key is on the back of the beam here working, and then Rory is working on the front. Rory is the foreman. I'll be interviewing him in a minute here. But uh, they had to move the, the, they're just roughly placing the beams in place right now. They have to still set them. There's Rory tiptoeing across here. Uh, pretty dangerous work, really. I mean, if, if that beam would fall on somebody or if they the beam would roll, um, but they get out there, they're, pretty used to doing this just like the guys on those big old beams in New York City back in the day but obviously it's not as dangerous here but still dangerous it was really nice to get a break while they were doing this we didn't we got to just stand around and talk and maybe we did little odd jobs but it'd been really exhausting doing this work and I, I don't know how these guys do this week after week month after month year after year and in Rory's case decade after decade they're moving these big old beams around it's a uh, pretty intense work to tell you a little bit more about it from first-hand perspective I interview the foreman Rory here here he is hey my name is Rory Moylan uh, I'm a ship builder. I live in Taos, New Mexico, where, we're, uh, where the ships are from. I've been doing this for 25 years or so, just living off the grid and building these houses and teaching people how to do it, and it's uh, pretty fun. Does it, does it feel cool to live off the grid and not, not paying utilities or anything? Or? Yeah, I mean, I think living off the grid is pretty sweet. Like, I don't think I'd ever do anything else. I don't think I could ever live in the suburbs again. I hate normal houses. They're loud and stupid. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not like super obsessed, but maybe I am. I am. I'm kind of a fanatic. <laughs> Probably built around 150 earth ships, so quite a few all over the world. I've built on in almost every country. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, list some, of, list some of the countries. Some of the do. countries I've been to. Oh. That you built airships in. Yeah. yeah, like England, France, Czech Republic, Germany, uh, Jamaica, Bali, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Mexico, <laughs> Belize, uh, <laughs> Um, Philippines, India. Uh, All right, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. 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 So, what? What's your favorite part about building? My favorite part about building is I get paid to do it. <laughs> 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 no, I like I like uh, doing this. I feel like it's just always on these jobs. It's a bunch of people coming together for a common goal, you know. And anytime you got that, I don't know. I feel like. It's almost like one of us, you know, is not very strong, but there's kind of this Voltron thing, like together we're like a superhero, you know? We can like pick up cars and throw up and do like ridiculous things together, like build this in a couple weeks, you know? Like, so yeah, I, I kind of like that. 
feel like we're like a superhero collectively, you know? Yeah. Collectively a superhero. Yeah, it's it's kind of amazing, I think, that we could do all this in three weeks. Uh, this is a, a was a big project. I'm really proud I, I came and did this with everybody. It's it's quite a feat.